has 15 years of administrative experience. He has gotten some bills past New Jersey. And let's just say he knows how to work a room. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Pastor Seth Caperdale, who could be New Jersey's next governor. Ooh. It is a blessing to have everybody here together. I know what you're thinking, another election? Yep, another election. Uh, New Jersey gubernatorial race is slated to take place in 2017, and it's time to meet the contenders. <laughs> I head to the Reformed Church of Highland Park to get the scoop. When I learned that Steve Fulop and Steve Sweeney and Ray Lesniak were not going to run against Philip Murphy, um, and that it appeared to me that some sort of deal making must have occurred uh, to make everybody fall out of the way. Um, I just was, I was so distraught by that. I thought Goldman Sachs can't buy another election for the, uh, the governor here in, in New Jersey. Ooh. He's running on the Green Party ticket, to put it simply, because he's fed up with the Democratic Party. He plans to run on the party platform, last not first, fighting for those on the bottom. The only reason I'm doing this is because my wife um, could see that this was a, a passion, a calling that wasn't going away with Work First, with ESL and literacy programs, and with numerous employers, we give you thanks. I and mean, he tells me he already lives by that motto at his church, helping the homeless, helping veterans, and most recently, helping Syrian refugees. The federal government said, you need to be deported, and we said, forget you. You can't wow. be breaking up our families like that. So, wow. So yeah. they, they were 11 months they lived in this building to leave the complex. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But let's not forget, New Jersey has a lot of problems, specifically its pension crisis. So I asked them, I was like, are you ready for this? <laughs> Do you know what you're getting yourself into? And most of all, why is this even appealing to you? Just tell me why somebody who works on Wall Street is more prepared to answer the pension problem than somebody who works ethically within a community of faith and who is constantly trying to lift up those who are at the bottom. I believe that faith of all kinds is about transforming the world that we live in. Um, and I want to see a commonwealth of love and peace take over in this land. Is he a Bernie guy? He yes, Sanders? he is. Uh, so it happened that I met him uh, on Wednesday, the day after the election, and the tensions were, were there, let's just say yeah. that. Um, he was very upset the way the Democratic Party pushed Bernie aside and allowed Hillary to move forward. I mean, if he wants a real yeah, chance, is. he should have tried on the Democratic ticket. There's I no mean, chance on the right. Democratic ticket. Phil Murphy's yeah. got that locked He's up. got it locked down. He's not going to have a chance on the Green Party ticket. All right, so what's next for me? Is he actually going to file papers and go through with this? Yes, he already has. He announced okay. his candidacy um, good. last week or the week before. So Jersey's he's on Bernie it. Sanders. I love it. Run strong. You would never vote for him, though. Eh, probably not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>